How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be planting some raspberries. Now I got these off um, the diggers.com. Got them from a great price. Um, so I got eight plants. They are two varieties of each. And they are the Tayberry, um, Lloyd George, Diggers Gold, and also a purple variety. Um, so I've made a new bed. Uh, it's just going to be the raspberry bed. So that's a permanent spot because they are perennial. So you need to keep them in the same spot over a long amount of time. Um, so I made it probably a week ago. Got some fresh soil in. Um, so yeah, now, now it's time to plant them. Now the first thing I need to do is prep the soil. Now raspberries are perennial plants, meaning that they're going to be living in this bed for a long, long time. So I've only got one chance to plant these right. Now to the soil, I'm going to be adding sheep manure and also mushroom compost. These are both great soil conditioners and also the sheep manure has a lot of nutrients in it as well. I'm also going to be adding some expanded peat coir to improve water holding capabilities. Now I'm going to work this into the top part of the soil, probably the first 20 to 30 centimeters. And this will give good access of nutrients to the plant's roots. Now raspberries come in two different types of varieties. There's the primary canes, which grow in the first years of growth and you um, harvest the berries during autumn. And then there's also the flora canes, which um, grow uh, on, the berries grow in the second year's growth and yeah, you harvest them during summer. Now, there's also those that like to break the rules and that's the dual croppers. So the, I've got two dual croppers, which is the Tigger's Gold and also the uh, Lloyd George. Um, so they have, they produce both fluoricanes and primocanes, so you get two small harvests um, in summer and also autumn. So I'm gonna be separating the varieties, um, fluoricanes on one side, primocanes on the other, and just the other two, the dual croppers, they'll probably stick to one side as well. So it's nearly half-half um, between fluoricanes, primocanes, and um, then the rest are dual croppers. So it works out pretty evenly. So usually you have a trellis. Um, I don't have the stakes at the moment. Um, so I'm going to get two stakes, stick them up like this, drill some holes at about half a metre, one metre, and a metre and a half. Um, so three wires, and so that helps them to give them some support um, as they're climbing up. Uh, but yeah, I don't have the stakes at the moment, so I can't do that yet, but won't need them for at least probably another month. So I've got about a month to get the stakes and set that up. Um, yeah, so let's uh, get to planting. So on this side, I'm going to be planting the flower canes. Um, so that one is the... Where are they? The, that's right, the Tayberry and also the purple raspberry. And also at this end I'll be putting uh, the dual crop which is the Lloyd George. Um, so I'm going to be planting these at about 40 centimeters apart. Um, I'm just going to be placing, first I'm going to be placing the pots um, where I want them to go. So I know that, um, what they will look like and also how far apart they will be. Um, then I'll just dig some holes that are about t the bit deeper than the actual pots they come in and also about twice as wide, so probably about a spades depth wide. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna dig some holes to plant them in. There you go. So this is just about the same depth um, as the hole. Um, yep, so I'll be playing that straight like that. I'll uh, speed it up for you guys. planted in now I'm just gonna do the exact same um, side but I won't, won't film this one here just uh, save, save a bit of time for you also forgot to mention before when I was naming the varieties that I had I also got three heritage that were bare rooted in a pack for ten dollars so I got them as well this one it has this long um, big woody piece of uh, root here um, now this actually I'm not I don't really want that there so what I'm gonna do is get some sharp secateurs and cut it just a few centimeters away from where the other roots are. Now what this will do, this cut will form lots of new roots right here, right around the base of where it's been cut. These sort of fine hair-like roots. They're the ones that I want instead of these real big thick ones. These ones are good for support as well, but really to pick up nutrients and water you want these real fine hairs. 
So the raspberries are all planted in their beds now. Now what I've got here is some blood and bone and sulfate of potash. And I've mixed these together in this bucket here and that's going to act as a top dressing. So I'm going to sprinkle it over over all the plants and then also um, mulch heavily. I'm going to be using some sugar cane mulch and then water in deeply with some seaweed solution. There you go folks, that's the raspberries all planted with. Can't wait to eat uh, my own fresh berries, uh, fresh raspberries. They are one of my favorite foods of all time to eat. Um, and they cost a lot at the supermarket, very expensive. So it is definitely worth um, growing your own. Now it'll be about two years before I um, let these fruit um, to harvest them because I want to make sure that they get a really good uh, root establishment in. Um, yeah, so if they grow really well this year, however, I might let them uh, fruit next year and we'll probably just get a few berries then not much but just still um still get a few off of them so thanks for watching if you like the video make sure you um you leave a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do um you get a notifi uh, notification and an email just let you know that a new video is up uh yeah and if you have any comments suggestions or questions for me uh just pop them in the comments box below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and uh thanks for watching catch you guys next time